Hello guys, you are welcome back to my channel. If you are meeting for the first time, you are watching Reggae School of Fashion channel. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the red button down below to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well so that you can get updates anytime I upload a new video. In my last video, I showed you guys how to draft the front panel of a main native trousers, popularly known as Shokoto. And in today's video, I will be showing you how to draft the back panel and the pocket sack. And in case you missed out the last video, there will be a link in the description box where you can find the video. So guys, let's jump straight into the video. In drafting the back panel, I will be using the front panel as a pattern to draft the back panel. So that is why I placed the front panel on a new pattern paper, as you can see. So the first step is to extend all these lines onto the new pattern paper. So starting from the waistline, I will be extending the waistline onto the new pattern paper. Also on the crotch depth. This is the crotch line, I will extend it onto the new pattern paper. I will extend the knee length line onto the new pattern paper as well. So after extending the lines, the next step is to add the same allowance onto the back panel. So I will start from the hem line on this side, I will add one inch. And this is the point. On the other side, I will add one inch. All together makes two inches. Also, on the trouser length, I will add one inch on one side. One inch on the other side. All together makes two inches. Then the same thing on the knee length. I'll add one inch here. And one inch here. Then on the crotch depth line, I will also add one inch here, but add half an inch as an his. So on this line, I will add half an inch one and a half inches rather then on the other side i will add one inch which means the allowance i had there all together on the crotch depth line is two and a half inches and not two inches then on the waistline i will add one inch here one inch on the other side All together makes two inches and for the upper parts which will be folded inward I will add one inch here then one inch on the other side all together makes two inches so after marking all the allowances the next step is to extend the back crotch depth by one inch just as I explained in the previous video that the back crotch depth will be one inch longer than the front crotch depth. So from the starting point here, I will measure one inch upward. So I will place the ruler in a slant manner. This way, from this one inch point up to the other edge of the front panel. Then I will rule it out. So after drawing out the new starting point for the back panel, then I will connect these three points together. This is the one inch point, this point, and the one inch on the waistline. And I will extend it downward to form a straight line. So after drawing out this straight line, the next step is to draw out the crotch curve on the back panel. 
So just as I did when I was drafting the front panel, on this line, I'll go up by two and a half inches. And this is the point. Then I will draw out the crotch curve using the curve ruler. Connecting these two and a half points with this one inch, with this one and a half points here. So I'll be connecting these two points together using a curve ruler. So after drawing out the crotch curve for the back panel, the next step is to connect the crotch points to the knee point. Also the knee point to the trouser length points and I will extend this also to the hemline. So guys, one side of the back panel is ready now. I will proceed to construct the other side of the back panel. For the other side of the pattern, I will be connecting all these points together. This point to this, this to this, and this one to this, to the knee point, then downward to the length of the trousers. Then also from the crotch depth to the knee point. Then from the knee length to the trouser length, I'll be making use of a straight ruler. Then from the trouser length to the hemline. Okay guys, as you can see, our back panel is ready. So I can remove the front panel and trim off the shaded parts on the back panel. I will proceed in drafting the pocket sack. The standard measurement used in drafting a native trousers pocket is 14 inches by 14 inches. So I will start by drawing a borderline on the edge of the pattern paper. So from the borderline, I will measure 14 inches downward. then extend it into a straight line. Then also from the center of the pattern paper, I will measure 14 inches inward. So this is the 14 inches point. Also from here, I will measure 14 inches inward. Then connect the dotted lines together. And my pocket sack is ready. So I can cut it out. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this video, drafting of a male native trousers, popularly called Shokoto. If this video has been helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. This is free, absolutely free, okay? See you guys in my next video where I will be transferring the trousers pattern onto the fabric. Thanks for watching. Bye!